Hey friends, how is it going? Welcome to this episode. We will be talking about effective ways to deal with anxiety. It is common for everyone to experience feelings of anxiety at times. Anxiety is a normal human emotion that serves as a response to potential threats or challenging situations. But when anxiety becomes excessive and persistent, it can be really harmful. Do you experience any of the followings? Unable to concentrate? Feeling blank and lost? Heart palpitation and cold sweat? Feeling jumpy and anxious? Losing interest in your hobbies? Difficulty falling asleep? If you experience some of these signs, you may be worrying too much. We understand that it can be challenging to stop worrying as it is a natural response to difficult and stressful situations. However, excessive worrying can be detrimental to our well-being and overall mental health. So first, we ask ourselves, why do we worry? Will worry help us feel better? Or will worry improve the situation? Worrying about bad outcomes will not change the cause of events. Worrying does not prevent the occurrence of events at all. Worrying does not help us in any way. Worse, it often leads to negative emotions and a sense of helplessness. So instead of worrying, it can be more helpful to focus on taking positive actions and finding solutions to the challenges we face. One very effective and positive action we can immediately do is to focus on living life in the present moment. There are three simple steps to stop excessive worrying. First, simply just stop worrying. Worrying is a mental habit and we can train ourselves to stop it from becoming excessive. Second, think positive. We can train ourselves to think positively and look at life from a brighter perspective. Third, act wisely. Active planning and living our life accordingly can help reduce our fear of the uncertain future. How can we learn to stop worrying? One really very simple and effective way is to practice Buddhist meditation. It can help our minds to develop the strength and discipline to stop worrying excessively. Meditation can simply be a self-challenge, a sport, or even a game. There are many kinds of Buddhist meditations Here is one simple meditation exercise that is helpful for us to focus on the present moment, which help us to overcome anxiety. To begin this meditation or exercise, find a quiet, peaceful and nice place. Sit down comfortably. Free your thoughts. Breathe calmly and then begin to draw your focus and awareness to your breathing. Be mindful of your breathing. In your mind, silently count each exhale. Start counting from 1 to 10. After finishing counting your exhale to 10, start to count from 1 to 10 again, as before. Try not to lose count of your exhalation. If you lose count, start counting from one again and continue. Practice as long as you want. The goal is to focus on your exhale, yet not to lose count of it as you are breathing. The second step to overcome anxiety is to think positively. And there are four little steps to achieve this. We understand that what we are experiencing now is karma. Karma simply means actions. So our karma means 
our own actions. In other words, what we did in the past resulted in the present experience in our lives. Since what we have done in the past was already done, we cannot change something that was already done. We learn to accept and move on, embrace our present situation with courage. Do not let fear control us. We can be proactive and create new karma, the good and positive karma, by doing the right actions now. Which will create happiness for our future. We have to remind ourselves that the future is not here yet, and the past is already gone. But the present is what we are living now. So live and focus the present moment. Instead of being trapped by our past, learn to move. Forward positively in life, we must stop blaming ourselves. No one can determine the future. Therefore, learn to worry less. There will always be things that are beyond our control. Life is so interesting because the future is unpredictable. Let's embrace what may come. It's also good to remember that bad situations are temporary, because nothing is permanent. The third step to overcome anxiety is to act wisely. Live the moment. Focus on doing small, practical things, one at a time. Like a lotus, we will slowly rise above the mud. There are three simple steps to help us act wisely. First, practice mindfulness. Analyze our current situation mindfully and without any emotional burden, such as fear or regret. Identify our problems and challenges. Second, planning. Plan a solution instead of worrying. Consult family members, friends, or even an expert for a solution plan to tackle our concerns. Third, act wisely. Put our plan into action. Act wisely and morally. Do one thing at a time. Live one day at a time. Our future will take care of itself. When we start actively addressing our worries and taking steps to manage them, we may find that things are not as bad as we initially imagined. Our worries can sometimes be fueled by our imagination and excessive thinking, making situations seem much worse than they actually are. Remember, managing worry and overcoming anxiety is a process. That takes time and practice. We must be patient with ourselves, celebrate small victories, and seek support when needed. Hey friends, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you have not done so. We'll see you in our next video. May you be well and happy.